Hey everyone and welcome to the 6th Java CV tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to control the mouse pointer and mouse actions using the hand gestures. Okay, let's see. Here as you can see, I'm controlling the mouse movements with the blue marker. And for clicking operations, I have the green marker. So okay. Okay, now let's get back to the coding part. I'll just close this, create a new project. File new job project. Java CD six B next build path. create new class in here first time I'll call it as main I'll take multi public static void main for this click on finish I'll create another class named ccm filter for color contour moments filter and I'll untick the public static void main in here click on finish okay now coming to the main program the reason why I have created the two classes is that Okay, in this class, I'll be performing color contour and moment filtering operation and I'll be calling this function from this main function because okay, as you have seen earlier uh, in the in the demo, I have performed two types of color filtering operations that is one for the blue color and an uh, other one for the green color. The blue color is going to be giving the coordinates for moving the mouse pointer and the green color is for performing the left click operation of a mouse. Okay, so since I need to do twice the filtering operation I cannot just write it inside the main program itself that's why I have created another uh, class I'll be calling that class I'll be calling that class inside the main class so I'll just copy and paste the last program that is the moments program itself okay I have just pasted the last program itself uh, the moments uh, program in here I have declared three variables that's image one uh, mg bin g that means the binary image for green color and binary image for blue color and the next one is the image HSV for HSV filtering operation and I have declared two variables for CV scalar class that is that is blue minimum blue maximum green minimum and green maximum and in here I have defined the width and height IMG HSV create uh, okay IMG HSV create image uh, CV size is 320 by 240 that's the resolution and bin uh, okay, binary image green, binary image blue, and the third variable, the third object, uh, the third image object that is the image C. Uh, I'll just explain it why I have declared this uh, new object in here. Okay, the next one is the same thing the contour uh, one and contour two, storage variable, and the moments variable. And after that, it's a capture function capture one, CV, uh, create camera capture, CV cap of any, and set capture property capture one, width is 320 by 240, uh, and height is. 240 okay okay and here uh, it can be while int i equals 1 or while true and here it is mg1 equals cv query frame capture 1 mg1 if uh, image 1 is null then output the error message as no image and break the loop in the last programs between these two lines of the code uh, I used to write the what uh, code for color filtering operations Control filtering operations and moments detecting of the moments and position coordinates and all those things. In here, since I am uh, detecting two colors, that is blue color and a green color, I'll be just calling this function from the main function. Now coming back to here. Okay, in here inside the CCM filter, I have imported the uh, Java CV library files, and I'll create a new public static method. Public static. IPL image filter. The method name is filter, and this filter function is going to return an IPL image object to the calling function. 
So inside the parenthesis, okay, in here, inside the static method, these are all the parameters which have to be passed. The first three are the IPL image objects. The, okay, the next are uh, CV scalar objects and the next contour, uh, storage, followed by moments and two integer values indicating one for blue and one for green. Okay, the reason why I'm sending all these parameters or all these objects into this function, instead of just passing uh, an image variable inside to that function is that once I pass in only the image variable, I need to create a storage variable, contour variables inside this method itself for executing. So if I do that, and if I call this function from the main function inside the while loop, each and every time that method gets executed, a new instance of contour storage variables are going to be created. So that creates a memory leakage or memory uh, problems inside the PC. So in order to keep it a little bit simple, I'll be passing all of these variables or objects inside this function so that they don't have to be created again and again when I call them inside this file loop. Okay, I'll just copy and paste the code. Okay, here it is. I have created uh, double variables, that is moments, uh, 1001 and area max, area C, M area. And I've created the integer variables for position X and Y. And I've performed the color filtering operations in here and contour detection and filtering operations up to here. And this is the moments detection and filtering and finding the position coordinates of the detected contour. So, okay, all these things have been explained in the earlier tutorials, that is the Java CV tutorial four, five, and six. Okay, so I'll not be explaining all these things once again. If B equals one, that means if the blue color image or contour has been detected, then uh, the positions will be greater than zero. This type of technique can be used in other programs also. That means, say for example, in your program, if you are coding to detect one particular color, when that particular color has been detected, you will perform the contour filtering operations. After that, moments detection. If that particular color has been detected, then the position coordinates will be greater than zero. So that this position coordinates will serve as a notification that if, if and only if that color object has been detected inside a particular image, then the positions of that object will be greater than zero. So using this value, you can just tell whether the object has been detected in that image or not. So if blue color object has been detected and the coordinates has been uh, found, then I'll just pass on the coordinates uh, to control a mouse pointer. So to do that, I need to create a new object uh, by the help of the robot class, which is a default class provided by the Java itself for controlling the mouse actions. So I'll just, so I'll just copy and paste that code. Here it is robot I'll just import the robot class and add a throws declaration here okay these are all the robot class imports and this is the declare throws declaration for robot class so here rbt dot mouse move okay this requires two arguments both are both should be integer values okay, I'll just import type in pose x and pose y okay if i type in pose x and pose y in here uh, the width and height of the image will be only 320 by 240 so the position x and position y values will be ranging from 0 comma 0 to 320 comma 240 so that the mouse pointer will be moving only uh, in this area okay the edge of the screen from starting from the beginning of the screen uh, to up to this area only if your screen is okay, if your monitor is of the resolution which is greater than 320 and 240, then you should perform some mathematical operations su such that, such that, say for example, if your monitor is of the uh, is of the resolution 1280 by 720, then I'll just divide this 1280 by 320. I'll get four. So I'll just multiply the pose x with four, and Okay, 720 by 243. So I'll just multiply the y pose y with 3. So if the position is pose x is 0, 0, then it will be 0, 0, 0 itself. If it is 1, 1, it will be 4, 3. So finally, if it is 320, 240, the position will be 1280 by 720. So we are mapping the values of 0, 0 and 320 comma 240 to 0 comma 0 
uh, and 1280 by 720. This performs the map operations from a lower range value to a higher range value. If your monitor resolution is of a different resolution, just type in the value and divide it by 320 and 240, the respective width and height, and you'll get uh, one particular number. So just write in that number. Okay, if this number is not a whole number or an integer number, if it is the floating point number, then you need to add a cast operator. Okay, coming to over here, if the green color has been detected, then that position X and position Y will be greater than zero. If that has been detected, I need to perform a mouse click operation. That will be RPT dot mouse press operation. Okay, in here, the argument is input one dot button mask. That means mouse press button one means left click operation is going to perform and I'll just initialize or I'll just increment a temporary variable like this and I'll create a temporary variable outside here public static int t int t and else if t is greater than 0 then perform dot mouse release operation release operation and t equals 0 in here if the green color object is detected then perform the mouse click operation else perform the uh, mouse release operation so as long as i show the green color object to the camera the mouse uh, the left click will be kept pressed or once the green color object is not visible to the camera the mouse release operation will perform so this is the end of the code uh, over here and now coming back to the main function or main method i need to call the ccm filter i have just copied and pasted the code here it is ccm filter dot filter since I have created a static method, I can call this method uh, without creating an object for the CCM filter class. I'm just passing the arguments, that is the image arguments bmax and bmin for the directing blue binary image, contour1, contour2, contour1 and contour2 storage variables, and 1, 0. I have indicated the integer with 1, 0. That means here b is 1 and g is 0. So that it should only detect b, that means uh, it should only detect the blue color pattern and next I'll just copy and paste the same thing for detecting the green color image I'll pass on the mg, mg max and g min scalar quantities and I'll just interchange these values so that here blue is 0 and green is 1 Okay, after we have got the images, that is the blue binary image and green binary image, I need to combine these two images and display them in one single window. So I'll perform the OR operation, that is CV OR, it's IMG bin B comma, IMG bin G comma, IMG C. Okay, IMG C is going to store both of the images combined and mask equals null okay after we have got the image c that is the image combined i need to show that image so cv show image new combine comma mgc and cv image original comma mg1 okay this completes the code the main function and the ccm filter class and the filter method so i'll just save the program and click on run minimize this and I'll just open the paint application 
and I'll try, I'll try to draw some picture using the hand gestures. Okay, I'm drawing. Okay, that's it for this part B section of the 6th Java CV tutorial. Keep visiting my blog engineervisions.blogspot.in for more details and updates. Thank you.